Hi, uh, it's great to be here in Panu. This is my fourth festival, and I am junior to uh, Maestro here, who has been here. Really? Yes. Every festival. Maestro. I'll, I'll take that. Not. <laughs> yeah, five years since 2011. And, and uh, Matt and I are, I could not find a better colleague to work with. The feeling it's, is it's, mutual. It's yeah. uh, absolute fun every time, and a pleasure to work with him on stage. It's so exciting to come and find so many musicians, a whole orchestra full of musicians who want to be here just to play music um, and to have a great time together in a place like this. Uh, Strauss's duet Concertino, we are going to play um, in the festival concert. Uh, it's opening an concert. Opening concert. Um, it's a very exciting piece for us two to play. We've sat together in the orchestra for years. Um, we've even performed Poulenc's duo for bassoon and clarinet. Um, and this piece, written for strings, harp, um, bassoon and clarinet, is uh, really kind of fun to play as it tells a little story. Um, it's a little fairy story about a bear and a princess, and you can choose which one is which. Obviously, princess. <laughs> Yes, yes, it's true. Um, and uh, so um, I've actually played this piece with Pavo before um, in our um, orchestra in Germany, in the Deutsche Kammerphilomene Bremen. Um, so Pavo and I uh, are very pleased to have a different bear um, performing uh, with us. It's, it's really great. Thank you. Well, it's, it's, you've played it how many times now? Um, I think last year we played it three or four times with the orchestra and then I played it a bit. Yeah, it's, it's very nice to have a different princess too. It's, it kept, it's very multifaceted. You always need uh, yes. a new princess. She's it's a very true. different personality yes. than the last princess I had. But they were both very nice. <laughs> I'm sure, yes. I'm sure you only get the you, top quality princesses. Thank you. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, it's great. The festival always provides top quality princesses. Um, so uh, <laughs> it's fun rehearsing this piece with Pavo because he keeps on finding quotes from other bits of Strauss in there. And I think we've already had Heldenleben, um, bits of Rosenkavalier, there's definitely bits of Elektra, um, there's little bits of Arabella, um, there's all sorts of little quotes from earlier in his life. And definitely you kind of end up feeling like you, you have been through a walk in the Vienna woods. Unbelievably beautiful melodies. Just gorgeous melody writing, especially when the clarinet starts in the beginning and I get to share. I get my, my own little bit too in the middle, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a masterpiece, but I think especially for, for clarinet. It's, it's Actually, I disagree. I really, the reason I don't like this piece is because I have to work really hard to be able to play the notes, which are really difficult. And then everything stops in the middle of the piece. The harp starts, goes, the strings are, and the bassoon gets and a then gorgeous I get, tune. Yeah, it's, <laughs> Not fair. But you, you have such a great beginning to it. <laughs> Not fair. No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, so that's our question answered. Any more?